So, I'm a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, and before you ask, yes, I like most of the iterations. Even this weird 90s music video, even this dumbed down children's show, and whatever the frick this is. Thankfully this time, Sonic fans are eating well because LEGO dropped an amazing new wave of sets featuring the one thing that they refused to give to Mario, minifigures. I've only acquired two of the sets so far, but I'm excited to collect the rest. We've got an adorable Tails figure, a lovely Amy figure, and a new Sonic figure. Granted, the new Sonic figure is pretty similar to the idea set we got a while back. I also have the Dimensions one, but I won't tell you guys which is which. But you definitely should comment your favorite Sonic minifigure because comments help me out a lot. The only disappointment I had from this wave of sets is we didn't get a Knuckles this go around, but regardless, I had to make a Sonic mock to celebrate. One of the sets included the Tornado, which is Tails' biplane, and while it's cute, it's not really up to snuff, so today we'll be tackling giving it an upgrade. We are on a time crunch because I start college classes very soon, thus why y'all get another video so soon after my Gravity Falls one. First, we're going to work on the wings of the biplane. The predominant colors are gray and red. By the way, here's the reference material I'm using. There are so many different versions of the tornado, I felt the need to clarify. Another important note is I'm timing myself for this mock. I'm working in such a small time frame, so I decided to try to push myself. I started work a little before 12pm, and here's the progress so far. Building this mock was super fun since I don't often get to do vehicles in LEGO. The most recent one I can think of is Lloyd's X-Wing, but that isn't really a traditional vehicle since it's Star Wars. Flash forward to 3.30, and I've completed a rough draft of the biplane, and it's coming together rather nicely. After that, I took a quick break to clean up my workspace and began working on a base to display the plane on. I used a similar build as my Big Hero 6 mock. I found it's a really easy way to display smaller scale mocks while still giving me plenty of room to add backdrops just to add to the overall build. Next, I played some Minecraft to unwind. At this point, it's almost 5pm and I've been hustling for a couple hours. Plus, the Minecraft parkour doesn't park itself, you know? And time. I finished the mock at 6.08pm, but we'll round down for simplicity's sake and say I finished this mock in 6 hours. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, so let's take a final look. While my favorite part of this mock is of course Tails biplane, I really like how the base of the build turned out. It's a segment taken out of Green Hill Zone with a little bit of water to add some atmosphere. I alternated between green and lime green to simulate the feel of the game and then added a tree and a checkpoint and also a badnik. All of these builds are ripped directly from the LEGO idea set from a few years back. You can also see I use the now common transparent pole with Technic axles to strengthen it. I'm just now realizing I've used this in three of my last four mocks, which is pretty funny. On the back side of the mock, I continued the color pattern with adding some extra texture, but on the front, you can see I did the classic checker pattern with brown and tannish brown. The highlight of this build is of course the tornado, and I really like how this turned out. I don't build vehicles very often, so this turning out well was a major ego boost. <laughs> the most interesting part to me is how I connected the wings to the body of the plane. I used a combination of these weird accessory pieces and studs. It's pretty fragile, literally it broke while recording this, but it looks really dope. During the building process, I struggled to make a cockpit that would fit Tails' tails. So I ended up settling a bit, you do need to take off the tails to fit this little guy in there, and you can see I also have a Sonic munching on the chili dog atop the wings. Finally, I added some white parts to represent the paint job, and it's a similar fashion as the LEGO set, but I used a snot technique for all of it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in instructions for it by hitting the like button. If it hits 100, I'll make a PDF for you guys of the biplane. Anyway, that wraps up everything I had for you guys. See you in the next video. Who knows when that'll be because I'm back to being a busy college student.